we may have multiple test scenarios in a test suite and it is possible that some test scenarios are specific to some environment that means we can run one scenario in a lower environment like qa or dev but we cannot run into staging or prod so generally we use some specific tags so that we can differentiate those test scenarios but in creative framework they provide a special tag which will help you to tag the scenarios for specific environments those tags are env and env not which we are going to learn in this video i am amod and welcome to my youtube channel retarget common In this feature file we can see we have total 3 scenarios and by the scenario description you can understand that first two scenarios will be applicable only for the dev environment but the last one is applicable for qa environment so i need to control if i am passing the environment as dev then only these two scenarios should run and if i am passing qa then only third scenario should run we can easily handle this kind of scenarios using the tag we can create our own tags and we can pass it but in creative we have something built in that means if i want this scenario to run only for dev we can use a special tag called at env use equal to and pass the environment we can pass multiple environment names as well like dev and qa similarly here also i can pass at env dev and here I can pass at env qa and let me change the description of first scenario for dev and qa but to run these scenarios is little tricky so karate framework will select the scenarios based on environment if you set the karate dot env value that means if you see the karate hyphen config dot js here we read first variable env and here it says karate dot env which is a system property and suppose if you don't pass that system property through your runner method or maven command line it will be null obviously then we have something if condition if the environment is not there then by default i am passing dev as of now i am not going to pass any karate dot env so by default it will be dev and here i have already some logger statement so first time it will be null and second time it should print dev and in the runner method i have already passed the feature file name let me run this runner and let's see what happens if you see the log it says that no features or scenarios found so now you might be thinking why it is not running any scenarios because here we have set the value of env as dev so if you are using this tag at env then it will look for the system property value that is karate dot env not env so as of now i am going to comment this tag and if i run the runner method then let's see what happens so you can see it has executed the third scenario you can see by the description and here we can see it is printing karate dot env first time it is null then after if condition it is setting to dev and it is printing the third scenario so first two scenario it didn't pick because we have the environment tag which says that these scenarios can be run for dev or qa or this should be only for dev and here it is looking for karate dot env value which is null whatever we should pass at the beginning it doesn't matter what you are setting after it so if you want to pass the karate dot env value we have to pass through our runner method so for that i need to use system dot set property key will be karate dot env and value will be dev put the semicolon now if i run this runner method let's see what happens now you can see it has executed all three but for the first test scenario you can see it is printing karate dot env system property was dev so for the first scenario my condition is satisfied same thing for the second scenario and for the third scenario we don't have env tag so it is not applicable for this so it has executed scenarios 3 as it is but suppose if i uncomment this env tag here and if i rerun this time it will run only two scenarios first two scenarios because third one will not satisfy the environment condition you can see it has executed only first two scenarios we can have multiple tags along with env that means here let me pass one tag called something and in the runner method i am going to use tags and let me pass the same tag whatever we have put it here that is something so we are setting the env then we are using the tags as well 
so this time these two condition will be joined using and that means scenarios should be tagged for qa environment and also it should have a tag something let me run this runner method so here you can see it has executed third scenario only because for the first scenario we don't have add something annotation if i remove this something from here and if i rerun this runner method then it should not execute any scenarios because environment condition is satisfied but not the tag condition so here you can see it has not executed any test scenario we also have another tag called env not that is opposite of env suppose for this third scenario i am using add env not it means that it is going to run for any environment except qa if your environment value is null then also it will run so for that i am going to comment this line we are not setting the created.env so by default it will be null we have tags also so let me remove this tags and rerun this time so here you can see it has executed third scenario because created.env was null and at env not satisfied that condition we can pass the created.env from maven command line as well if you are using gradle then you can pass it through gradle as well for that click on terminal use maven test and here i need to pass the system property using hyphen d system property name is karate.env use equal to and pass the value like dev or qa whatever you want to pass since this system property contains dot in the name i need to use quotes so use double quotes and put the system property in within that hit enter so you can see execution is over and if you see the report okay so it has executed all three that is correct because for the third one we have environment not equal to qa we are passing the environment as dev so obviously it is going to run all three if i pass env not equal to dev then it is going to run for any environment except dev let me rerun show you so again execution is over and if you open the report this time we can see only two scenarios so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone